and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Hinda, we're coming at you live for Tato Boeing's house. Yeah. Last time I was here, you feel like you got me so drunk. Well, that's the problem of you being here during the day. I've never seen you here during the yes, day. Yes, it's my first time, actually. First time at my house during yeah. the day. And you've been to my house quite a couple of times. Yeah. It's nice to see how you look. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta say, you've got a beautiful house, man. You know you've made money when you're living in a plot, eh? eh? Is that super spot money, eh? Shut up. Tata <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for coming through, man. You've been wanting to do this. I know. Actually, I should have been the first person on this show. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel... Like, it's so unfair. You guys are setting me up for failure. Why? Like, throwing me under the bus. Why? After so many famous people. <laughs> and then I see everyone on Instagram is like... And I'm like, yo... <laughs> oh, dude, people don't know this. But do you know, you actually got me fired at why? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Makaba, please tell the truth. I didn't get you fired at why. <laughs> I gave you something. The ammunition. I gave you the ammunition. Yeah. It was your stupid decision <laughs> to actually use it. <laughs> uh, so a lot of people don't know this, but um, uh, there's a clip I played of some pastor who's being very homophobic. Um, and that got me fired, ultimately. Right? But at the end of the day, guess what? Yeah. It's 2019 now. Don't you feel like you should be having like Bob Marley's redemption song? Yeah. Like, I fought for the people and I got fired for it. <laughs> like, do you get what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So she gave me the clip that I eventually played on air, which eventually got me fired. So if it wasn't for Tato, I'd probably still have a job. <laughs> but anyway, welcome, but look bro. at you now. I yeah. helped you out. Yeah, you, did. you would have been stuck in a cage. And look at you. You're super sport now. I got out the cage. You know? I'm joking. What happened at uh, Thursday Night Live, dude? That was crazy, man. What do you mean that was crazy? Because I got a call from my girl, right? I was busy on my couch watching YouTube, whatever, whatever. She's like, yo, dude, Robin Marau just left. He sent a tweet saying he got an SMS. And he's like, look at uh, Thursday Night Live. Your girl, Tatooine, is doing the show. What's going on? I'm like, what? I don't know what's going on. Are you serious? Yeah. So when you walked in, did you know what was happening? I don't know what you mean. So did they tell you you're going to be doing the show or you only found out when you got there? I don't know what you mean. Ah, Tatooine. <laughs> It's going to be one of those interviews. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, but we'll get to that later on. Let's no, we're not. We will. We will. <laughs> uh, people want to know, Chief. <laughs> but anyway, listen, let's start from the beginning. Okay. Uh, you started, you were part of the first Y, y Academy. Academy, which I think birthed a lot of stars, ne? Actually, it did. Um, I think 100% of us actually got hired by YFM yeah. after the six-month internship um, program yeah but the cool thing with that internship was we auditioned for it and like everyone in the country wanted to actually get this opportunity yeah, it was a big deal it was a huge deal yfm back in the day was like hot yeah. still is mm. and then i applied for the internship and then i got called back for an audition yeah. and it was a table I am like, what, 20 years old at the time? Yeah. There's Ashifa Shaba. Ooh. There's Kenton Pele. There is um, Shabba, quite a lot of people that I don't remember right now with the names, yeah. but quite a lot of industry people, about 12 people giving you an audition, ah. and they were asking you questions, like hard questions. Yeah. And I made it. Because you started with Len Moleko. No, TD. Len came the year after. Oh, so who did you start with, TD? No, TD was not in Y Academy. So who did you start with? Komodo? Komodo, Taje, Pila Tiagana, Stapura, Dumelo, yeah, Kumani. Oh, yes. um, that was the group. There yeah. was also Roya Vajivandi. Do you remember oh, that? Yeah, Chubby. Roya. Yeah. <laughs> Chubby. Yeah. There was Chubby. There was Tandi Daniela Dowry. Yeah. yeah, so that was the group of guys that we had at Y Academy. And then we all, that's where we also got to meet Monde. Yes. who was a big part of Y Academy. He yeah. was like a steering ship. He helped us get through all those classes because the cool thing was you got to spend a month with every single department. Mm. And because it was the first one, those people actually worked and they really taught us what to do. No, seriously, they did. Yeah. And when I look at everybody else from the Y Academy and where they are today, I mean, 
Pila is a massive producer at Metro FM. You look at Tandy, she's moved down to Cape Town. Stapura was also station manager at YFM. So it kind of was a good cementing place. I must thank Y Academy. Did you uh, think you were going to get into this industry? Because you um, went to a very arty school, Pro Art, eh? I went to Pro Art, eh? Mm. Um, so yes, I've always been an arty farty person. Yeah. I've always wanted to be in this industry in one way or another. Uh, my background actually is stage theatre. <laughs> Yeah, I actually oh, started. That, I actually started doing theatre and musical theatre yeah. when I was nine years old. Mm. And before then, in grade one, I used to go to I Stedford, do poetry. So yes, I've always been interested in entertaining people. Yeah, yeah. If that's a good way to put it, in entertaining people. So uh, after going to Pro Arte, I studied drama for six years, like intense, heavy stuff, you know, like some morbid stuff. And I uh, went to TUT, um, and I thought I wanted to be the next Steven Spielberg or someone <laughs> fabulous. Uh, I went to first year film school. Yeah. With like some really really cool people, that guy Gavin who won the Oscar or whatever. I don't know. For Tzotzi, just say, yeah, yeah. he went to yeah, TUT, yeah. and I was like, I'm gonna be the first black. Yeah. Like that's me. Yeah. I failed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I failed so bad. Well, I only failed one subject, but it was really, really hard. It opened my eyes, and I went to do an easier subject, journalism, and I aced that one. And then when did the waitressing job come into play? Oh, I started waitressing when I was in high school, 16 oh. years old. Me and my one bestie, Moresi, we were just tired of asking our mom for, hair, for like money to go do our hair. Like We're like so over it. Like Why are we still asking our moms for money to go do hair? Yeah. And then we went and got a job at Spur, and that's actually when I started working. Working, so I haven't stopped working since then. Do you still remember the spare birthday song? No. <laughs> it's traumatic. <laughs> it's like those people who grew up and then their parents used to throw them parties and bring clowns. Yeah. And then now they're scared of clowns. <laughs> the spare birthday song. Oh, that's crazy. So now you get it why, right? And when I first met you at why, because I started pretty much the same time as you. Yeah. Uh, you never striked me as someone who wanted to be in front of the camera or in front of the mic per se. Yes. You look like behind the scenes. So when you did sports, I was like, Tato, doing sports. But MacGyver, remember, it actually initially started that way. Thinking mm. about my background, saying that I've always just wanted to entertain me in the entertainment industry. Yeah. I actually am a very shy person, country to popular well, Look at you. I talk a lot, but yeah. I'm, I'm literally a very shy person, getting into new spaces and whatnot. So, yes, I am somewhat somehow a behind-the-scenes person. I've always liked to help out with costumes, mm. um, you know, being like a stage manager when I was in high school. And that's why I went into radio, because mm. radio was behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. But now, if Super Bowl come calling, <laughs> <laughs> are you going to say No. <laughs> Do you remember your first uh, sports broadcast? Because I remember you got a lot of slack from, from the white listeners at the time. Um, yeah, I actually got a lot of slack. And I remember the people who gave me slack. I remember you. Yeah. I remember the people who gave me slack. And um, you know what the funny thing was about my first broadcast? Remember, um, we just finished Y Academy. Yeah. Right. And after finishing Y Academy, we then all got hired in our different departments. Yes. And then I went to news. To news yes. And that's where I met Zaman and uh, William Lohong. Yeah. They were in the newsroom. And then Mpokubai came in and joined us in the newsroom later on. Yeah. So it was us. One morning when my job had just started as a news editor, it was just myself and Zama. Zama was reading the news. I was her junior, you know, assisting her. Yeah. Hey, you, do you know anything about the Blue Bulls? <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. like, you're sure, my Jova. The Blue Bulls are coming to ruin off me. And he's like, go. Yeah. Just like that. That was DJ Spoo's very first day at YFM as he came back, if you remember. I know yeah. there was a huge big deal yeah, about yeah. it. Oh, eight, oh, what, what? Thank you. Mm. And, um, his sports person just didn't pitch on the first day. So I was like, oh, okay, you want me to put together a news bulletin? I'm like, how's this guy's playing games? Yes, <laughs> he doesn't know me. Yeah. I start putting together a bulletin. I mean, I was starting to put together bulletins anyway. Mm, 
I did my first bulletin, I literally had about 10 minutes to do so. So when people go and um, scrutinize scrutinize my first bulletin, I'm like, honey, thank you so much. That was done in 10 minutes. Wow. Like, yes. If you're telling me that I was good enough to be on air and I got a couple of things wrong, which weren't actually factually wrong it wasn't yeah, it was more about delivery it was more about delivery yeah yeah it was more about delivery so i'm like even if you don't like my delivery you kind of like me yeah yeah which is fucking great to you exactly yeah. so look i've always been a person macgyver just growing up in general i've always had thick skin yeah. like i literally am a person who rolls off my back I move on. I do not give a flying f- what anybody says. Yeah. I mean, imagine where I'd be if I gave a flying yeah. what anybody says. Yeah. So I think starting there at YFM, having um, your first broadcast on air with DJ Spoo, it's a good thing it happened that way. I really appreciate all the hardships I went through at YFM. Because you used to walk to, to, from the highway what? to the studio. We used to. <laughs> Determination, Baba. Uh, we had cars at that De- time, so we Deter- never be- <laughs> but you know, you had a car. You were like the only person. <laughs> you were like the only person with a car. Like even the Boston never car, you had a car. <laughs> so just to explain, you used to work. So the studios were in Rosebank. You used to Rosebank walk- Mall. Rosebank and Mall. then I used to get off at the off ramp on the highway. Wow. Which ha- Glen-, Glen Hove? Yeah, Glen Hove. Yo, yo. How many but then you, you must remember that I then am in a group of people where Roya is sleeping underneath the studio desk. I'm in with a group of people where Komoto and them are sleeping over at night, making um, noodles the whole night, sitting and sleeping in studio. Yeah, ground zero. Right? Mm. I actually have the privilege to go home to Midrand and have my aunt cook us food. Boom, boom. Yeah. And then come back with his cafeteria the next morning. <laughs> Other people were walking from Randburg mm. to Rosebank. So, and yeah, Lynn was walking from Melville. Right? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's also very nice to know that we literally worked so hard to be where we are. Nobody can ever take these things away from me. This is something I've honestly put a lot of hard work into. I'm not just going to fold and falter because. Someone has an opinion. Mm. Come on, MacGyver. Yeah. yeah, so it's been a very beautiful journey, actually. Shit, man. And what did you learn through that journey? No wonder you st- you stay grounded, ne? Yeah, because I know how to walk. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I think about not going to work and messing up a rug, I'm like, Mugela, you shall walk, ne? <laughs> Continue, you shall walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So after that bulletin, did you decide, okay, cool, I'm going to focus on sports now? Or was it still no, it, it, it really, like, it literally was not after that bulletin. It was like, okay, I did this one bulletin. But, I mean, I was just doing my boss a favor, a favor, yeah. what he told me to do. Yeah. I did a couple. And then after a while, um, I think it was Kendall and Majov. They're like, hey, actually. You quite dope. I, I, polish up a little bit. And then... Then my contract changed mm. to sports because it was news at yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. And um, now we're getting the cars. <laughs> 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 no, now we're not getting the cars. I'm um, actually my first car, MacGyver. Uh, it was after quite a long time. Mm. First of all, I had like massive car phobia. Mm. Massive car phobia. I'd literally get into a car. I still, I, I, I don't prefer people driving me. Yeah. And I get into a car. If I'm in the front seat, I'll like fold my legs just uh, in case there's an impact and then I don't crush my legs. Yeah, yeah. So it took me quite a while to buy my own car. It was after my job almost fired me for not buying a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like he gave me his first warning. I'm like, but my, my job, I mean, like, if you're going to work in this newsroom morning, you have to have driver's lessons. I'm like, but much of I actually literally came into this newsroom before you came up with this law. So yeah. he was like, nah, bruh. He gave me so many warnings. Like, but I thank him for that. Yeah. Today they call me Shiwaka. <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> All right, then comes 5 FM. When does 5 FM come? Ooh, 5 FM. Um, are you asking me dates? You see, that's also one thing I don't do. I don't really. Um, document and record my stuff, mm. but I moved to five um, after going after the World Cup. 2010. And I, 
no, it was 2011, I think, because yeah. 2010, yeah. I just joined Supersport, and then 2011, I then moved to 5FM, mm. and then I did Weekend Breakfast with, with Thomas and Sengana, yeah. Tommy Two Guns, yeah. uh, Dudu Zili Ramley, my girl, yeah. uh, we were also with Alma. Mm. Smith, and then later on, we were joined by Vic Naidu. Our producer was Ben. It was really cool times. Yeah. And the coolest thing was, I then got to travel again oh. and meet up with my buddy Dineo, yeah. Lucy. Same, right? Yeah, so that was really cool. It was a nice what, experience. Why did you leave five? Oh, I left five because I then became pregnant. Mm. Right? Mm. And um, at that time, um, I was offered to move to another show. Got pregnant, so no shop or so no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Same goes to you, nigga. <laughs> Same goes to you, ninja. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um I'd just gotten pregnant and then they wanted me to move to um during the week, every single day. And I was like, wait a minute, hold up. Like, I'm already shocked by, like, being pregnant in the first place. Mm. And then I need to be a mom for the very first time. I can't... And it's your first kid. Exactly. Mm. And I thought working every single day on radio, uh, a certain time frame that is normal time frame for babies to wake up and yeah. so forth. Um, it's challenging. It was going to be a bit challenging. Yeah. And what they were offering me at that time was not where I wanted to go. Mm. So I was like... What were they offering you? Mm, yeah, but anyway, <laughs> it was uh, not where I wanted to go. So I was like, yo, guys, it's really been cool. Juices. That was the first time I actually quit a job. Wow. No, actually, it wasn't. I'm lying. You how did I leave? Why? I quit. Oh, you yeah. Can tell she, just she knows how to dribble away out of questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Super Sport, did you have to audition? Yes, I did. Yeah. Ah, yes. Ooh. Yeah, that day. It was us. Len actually convinced me to go to Super Sport, guys. Okay. So um, we were in the newsroom at YFM, and then the, the phone just kept on ringing the whole day. And some lady was like, oh, we're looking for people to audition for Super Sport. Are there any ladies around? I was like, uh, they're all gone. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she was like... <laughs> And she was like, okay, um, if, if anybody can come through, you know, we, the auditions are closing at four o'clock. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, okay, bye. And it's like, what, what's going on, bro? I'm like, ah, super sport auditions again. Like, he's like, no, why don't you go? I'm like, please. So you can go stand on a line with like a million people and just embarrass yourself and just not get chosen. And, you and, you're not gonna get it. and like be the laughing stock of everyone. Like, no, please. I ain't gonna waste my time. Yeah. I nah, the afternoon goes a little bit. Me and Lena are sitting outside doing what we do. <laughs> and then he's like, nah, brah, go. But then also there was a problem of my job. Mm. Like, how am I going to sneak out of the office first? It was just too much trouble. Yeah. Lord and behold, there goes much of a downstairs to the basement, gets into his car. I'm like, wow. You know, like a kid at the candy store yeah. watching the car leave. I'm like, bye, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Ran to the taxi. Mm. Literally don't know what I'm going to oh, do. So now we've upgraded. We're taking taxis now. We're not walking. <laughs> <laughs> mm, anyway. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm. One day I'll get a private jet. You must please come back when I'm a billionaire. So we can have this conversation again. And I can inspire like a lot of people. Yeah. And be like the next Elon Musk. <laughs> please. So um, I then caught a taxi, uh, got off at Randwick Taxi Rank. And you see, that's a messed up thing. Robert went and told that same story at my wedding, mm. how my taxis were dirty. I'm yeah. like, yeah, really? <laughs> um, got to the audition. I was the very last person. When I got there, there were so many models, like literally industry slay queens of back then. Like, no, seriously. And I was a mess. Yeah. I was dry. Wow. Ashy, yeah. yo, <laughs> get in there. It's a studio. There's Robert Morawa. I'm like, wow. You met Robert at the audition? Yeah, no, no way. And I'm like, the okay. pressure. <laughs> it's just the two of you. And he asks you questions. Just the two of you guys. And he asks you questions. Sporting questions. Mm. Like cricket. I'm like, yo. But I know. 
I got you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Answered all those questions because I mean, hello, these are like my sports bulletins yeah. whole day. And at that time, you're like, ah, oh, fuck it, let me just get this out of the way. I'm not going to get it. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. Let me just answer the questions. Yeah. I don't want to embarrass myself. I know the answers anyway, <laughs> but why are you guys asking me such easy questions? Yeah. But it's okay. Fine. And I leave, in fact, I, I remember saying to Robert specifically that thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm going to go home now and have three shots of tequila. I appreciate your time. And I leave. <laughs> <laughs> and I really went home and had two shots of tequila. I literally forgot about it. Yeah. What did they call you? Two days later. Two days later. They called me. They're like, yo, bruh, come back to Super Sport. I'm like, ah, real auditions. Hey, these people. Anyway, let me go try because hey, maybe you never know. Yeah. Hey, real auditions. I can't do it. We got there. It's a whole table. It's a team. We're done. Here's a show. Wow. Thursday Night Live with Marawa. Wow. We are starting off. On Thursday, we're having this meeting probably Tuesday, and it changed your life, dude. That show, no, it did. I mean, I remember I got a weave <laughs> <laughs> to the side, to the yeah. side. I was like, Yeah, I was wearing a suit. I don't even want to see that picture from the first day. Yeah. You know, I've got a shirt, I'm like, Yeah, I'm getting it. Yeah. And um, we started doing the show, and it was really and is. The best time of my life. Wow, what you scared because you're working with the legend. I mean, Robert, we all love No, Robert, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Like the first show, that's what I'm saying. I don't even want to see the first show. <laughs> <laughs> all I remember was that they asked me in this nice new studio, ne? Yeah. newly built yeah. World Cup studio. And then there's even smoke machine. Pump up the smoke. That's what they say. Yeah. Psh, psh, psh. And we're there in silhouette. We're coming down the stairs. You know when you can feel your knees yeah. <laughs> shaking yeah. down? I'm like, Jesus be with me. Let me not <laughs> fall. Let me not fall. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's like an adrenaline rush thing, I suppose. Um, and that actually wasn't my first time on TV because I happened to do your TV as well. You did your TV? <laughs> wow. Yeah, but anyway. Yes. Um, I happened to do your TV but I didn't do that for long as well. So I was used to an earpiece yeah. and um, live TV and go. Radio also prepares you for that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. even though my knees were shaking, which you probably could see, inside, ha, <laughs> I got it. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. But after a few seconds, you warm up to it and then you just kick it off. And it also does help having Rob next to you as much as he's someone that has done so much in the sport broadcasting world. Oh no, it's tunes, you know, when he walks into a room, like he's yeah, got... he's got that presence. He's the coolest person to work with. Like, honestly, honestly, swear to God, the coolest person. He made it so easy. I was so scared that this guy was gonna... Yo, he... But he also didn't make it easy, like give you... But, but He didn't spoon feed you. No. Yeah, yeah that was nice. I, I never knew you were so close with him until he spoke at your wedding. I was like, oh, shit, this is real. It's not just industry love, you know? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be like, you guys usually doubt me. You know, I, I, I go off to London, chill with Jay-Z. And all, all y'all said I was lying. You and Chile and everybody. Oh, you lying, you lying. And then my photo evidence comes like six months later, but I still got it like, boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the one thing you learned from Robert, like in broadcasting and as a, as a human being? The one thing that I've learned uh, from working with Rob is that, um, you see, one thing that people don't understand is that Rob probably gets to the studio like five minutes before. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's the G. Five minutes before. Mm. And he's been doing another show. Mm. And he's moving on to another show. Mm. And he still has time when he walks into the studio to personally greet someone and look you in the eye and be like, mm. yo, MacGyver, mm. you're strong, you're good, mm. you know? But once it's lights, camera, action, be in the moment. Like, just be in the moment. And it almost feels like you are in some sort of bubble with unicorn magic. And it, it, it's nice to make magic with someone who's a magician. Wow. Fuck. Yeah. Buzz. Buzz, nigga. Buzz. <laughs> uh, dude, one thing I envy about you is, is I love traveling, dude. And you're forever traveling. How's your passport looking? <laughs> My passport's actually 
actually quite empty. Yeah, you're lying, no, bro, I'm so. serious. I probably travel once a year. No, bro, you've done Russia. But that's once a year. <laughs> but that's once every year. I want like I won every year in 365 days. <laughs> Otherwise, when I'm traveling, Toyando. Bari mini. You know? Yeah. Toyando, Limpopo. Yeah. Uh, Cape Town, like, Cape Town is like Europe, Baba. Yeah. You know, but otherwise, it's just once a year. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, traveling is nice, MacArthur. It's just that it, it would have been nice had it come before I had... To, okay, wait, it did come before I had Tando. I wasn't like I had been traveling before. But now that I've got Tando, it becomes so difficult. Mm. The last birthday I was here was when she was two. Wow. She's turning five. Damn, I ain't going to be eh? here. Yeah. She better be strong and better Skype her mommy. <laughs> Now, how did your family react when you started becoming famous? I think you're the first to be famous in your family, isn't it? No. You're not. Who, who else has been famous? Ish. You see, that's the problem when you come from a family like mine. It's like, hey, guys, I'm on TV. They're like, so what? So what? <laughs> 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 you know, <laughs> so, um, well, he's not really, f- I don't know what... I- it's not like a Guaito artist or like a hip hop artist yeah. who like sold platinum, yeah. but my uncle, uh, when we were still growing up in the nineties, so he used to sing opera music, mm. and then he got some like really really famous scholarship to Cape Town, and he used to sing at the Cape Town Jazz Festival all the time. Then he got some first scholarship to go over to New York, and as a good close friend with Pavarotti yeah. and he even quit his operatic life and you know has yeah. gone off to some farm and like it's like yo bro you ain't done shit in your life how many are you in the family? Um, uh, as my siblings yeah. uh, there's four of us I'm mm. the oldest oh, okay. Queen Bee mm. and then there's my late brother Koto there's my little brother Kotato who got a girl pregnant mm. Runs in the family. Am I actually? Oh, <laughs> can we cut that out? <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> When's this gonna air? <laughs> no, let me uh, watch YouTube. Don't no, worry. What? <laughs> <laughs> But it's gonna um, come out anyway. Yeah, and the baby's gonna come anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah. okay. But I'm really excited, so I'm gonna be an aunt. And then my little sister Didi. Yeah. Yeah. And how was it like losing your late brother at such a young age? Um, it was hard, but I also yeah. feel like it's something that um sometimes I see it as almost like a blessing in a sense. Mm. Cause I feel like um back then I was still who I am. But I wasn't awake and aware of mm. the world. And I think that just made me more awake and aware. Mm. And that's why today I'm also a person who takes things very, not lightly, yeah. but I am not going to sweat the small stuff. Mm. I don't have time to sweat yeah. the small stuff. Yeah. You know, um, tomorrow I'll be here, tomorrow I won't. So every single second I get to spend with Tando, if it's time for shopping, look, we're going to spend the money. Mm. Okay. If we want to go do manicures and pedicures, we're going to go do it right now. Yeah. Because I also do, I understand that. We're not all going to be here. So I also Ish. try not to hold grudges mm. because I'm not going to waste my time being angry at freaking MacGyver. Like, who the I've f- never actually seen you angry. I've never seen you angry. Oh, I get angry. <laughs> 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 I hardly ever get angry. Like, I hardly ever... Because I try my level best not to. It's yeah. something that I consciously do because I get angry very ugly. Yeah. So I try not to. Uh, let's talk about your husband because for the longest time at YFM people we thought, she, thought had a, he was she, fake. she had an imaginary boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out you actually had a boyfriend you guys keep got on married. imagining him oh. <laughs> you guys got married you got kids and shit I gotta applaud him dude because when I, I didn't even try to get with you because <laughs> I thought you were way above my level <laughs> I didn't even try <laughs> I'm like I and easy love <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, there was someone who snatched her, yeah. and we'd actually been dating since I was twenty-one. And I've seen you guys. Too. I've had the pleasure of seeing you guys together. You guys yeah. are amazing together. Really? Yeah, man. Well, because we can't see each ourselves from outside, yeah. man. So I'm always wondering, Guti, Lovey, what do, you do we? Leafy, Leafy, <laughs> 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 my liver, my lungs. Yeah. So you know, it's always different. Like, do we do we look like? Yeah. 
we we like are we cool like because <laughs> you see the problem is we we really think like we're not cool yeah we think like we're like super old yeah. like especially like when everyone's around and we're like <laughs> how old are we <laughs> so, so I was doing, I had my show when you were getting married, so I couldn't come to the wedding. Uh, I was working night shifts. So after the show, I'm like, yo, is the wedding still happening? Lynn's like, yeah, we're still chilling here. So I drive to, where was the wedding? <laughs> it was at Avianto. Avianto. I get there, everybody's finished. Robert had left. I thought I was going to see Robert. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you even miss that? Because people state it was like a serious after party. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like. So everybody's gone. It's just me, Lynn, Tato, her husband. And the husband's like starts rolling a joint. He's got the bottles out there. He's like, yo, let's get fucked up. <laughs> I'm like, all right, dog, let's go. We go to you. We go to the room. Ah, oh, nigga, pass us out. <laughs> and then me and you, we sat there. We spoke until the morning, man. I hate the fact that we sat there mostly because we didn't have mix. <laughs> Garage was far, dude. We got mixed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But how's marriage life been? I mean, um, married life has been okay. I won't say it hasn't been without its challenges because I'm not gonna lie. Guys have challenges, no ways. Everybody fucking has challenges. What no the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Do you have a challenge every time you go to an ATM? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Do you get a thousand rand every time? No, Yaga. <laughs> so please, yeah. of course we have our challenges. But um, I think it also helps that we've been together for so long. Yeah. I mean, we started dating in 2006. We passed the decade mark. Mm -hmm. And I also didn't want to rush into getting married. Because Jimmy said he wanted to get married from a very long time ago. And I was like, just wait. I'm yeah. still busy with my wait, career. <laughs> I'm still busy with my career. Yeah. And then I realized that, you know what? With a... My career is there or not. We've been living together. Mm. We were living as married people anyway. Mm. And um, yeah. That's how you make babies. <laughs> That's how you make babies. <laughs> so when I look at you from afar, right? So this is me taking the friendship out of the equation. Yeah. Uh, you look like someone who's got life figured out, man. Do you have any insecurities? No, I don't have life do you have figured a girl out. That you want to show of us? course I do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I tell my mom all the time after, like, People don't tell you the truth about childbirth. Okay. And what happens afterwards? Your body is never yours again. Yeah. They're never honest with you. Like, my nose changed shape. No way. It did. <laughs> I swear it did. Yeah. And like three days after I gave birth, I went to my mom. And I was crying. And she's like, what's your problem? <laughs> Keep going. I'm gaga. I'm gaga. I said so. So, um. Of course, I have insecurities. I'm a girl. Mm. Okay, there's it's looking good, man. I bang that <laughs> in my house. Dum san zok shy away. Kerek sa aja. Dum san zok shy away. Zok shy ang endug. No, but you still look good, honestly. Look, jokes um, aside. I yes, of course, I still look good. Like, yeah. Hello, but obviously, it's not just bodily insecurities mm. i think um come on i'm too old for that kind of stuff mm. like really mm. you know yes every day you'd want to look a bit skinnier here and there but this is my body that's what god gave me there's nothing i can change about it. i can make it look better Allah. but there's nothing i can change about it insecurities come with um the world losing people mm. uh things that i fear things like that it's not mm. really bodily insecurity all right cool let's have some fun we're, play, uh, we're gonna play a game it's called story time ne? Uh, I'm going to say a celebrity's name and then this tell me like if you're going to story. This is like a deep interview. Yeah, you're not going to get this deep, man, because we're always talking shit. Where's my guy, <laughs> This is Mac G. <laughs> Podcast and show with Mac G. Uh, so I'm going to give you a celebrity's name, ne? Okay. And then you must tell me a story if you have one. Ooh, you know I've got stories for, for days. days. <laughs> we're going to need another hour. Uh, show my Josie. Oh, no, no story. Um, Just that. When she first came through for TNR, I was like, oh my gosh, you guys have to get this girl on, onto the show. And they're always like, mm, I tattoo in her music. Yeah. And then when she finally came, they're like, is this your show, my Josie? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, guys, wait, watch. And she killed it. Yeah, did. Aren't she, you proud of her now? She, but she's always been that amazing. Mm. Like, it's not her fault people were sleeping on her mm. before. Like, she's always been that amazing. And I love the fact that my daughter adores wow. show. Like, Sessi my Josie, not show my Josie. No, no, no. Sessi my. She literally adores show my Josie, and I feel like when I told her this, she just looked at me like every mom comes to me and says their daughter 
but my daughter literally adores her. When she goes to the salon, she's asking for Shoma Josie hair. Wow. She's been wanting pink hair. She, uh, and I love the fact that she's got a great red, uh, role model to look up to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got no scandals. Yeah. So far. No, but even though so, I like Shoma Josie because she's a strong woman. Yeah. This is the kind of girl I want my, my, my daughter to be. Someone who's not afraid to say what exactly, mm. you know, and that's what I love about her. The fact that she's so multilingual as well. Uh, Dr. Ivan Koza. Dr. Ivan Koza. The Duke. The Duke. Um, with the Iron... Ooh, YFM. Okay. YFM. Um, Majova had sent me out to a press conference um, at... Was it? Soccer City. Don't remember where the press mm. conference was, but somewhere s- in the south. And I think I was with Lynn. I don't mm. remember. And we used to also have current affairs, remember? Yes, with, yes, um, yes. Zaman yes. Zaman, Zaman and it was... Just before the World Cup, like we were like literally now full steam ahead. This was probably the first official press conference that would give us good, detailed, meaty information. Yeah. Every single journalist in the country wanted to be there. Worst of all, it was when we were announcing our coach. Oh, yes, Pereira. yes, 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 yes. I remember it. Everybody's running, running after the press briefing. They have the press briefing. Then they invite the media over, radio, the side, television, like a mixed zone. And um, as everyone's there, as, I'm a short little puny thing. I'm trying to, yay, it's come push. And I'm like, mm, all these people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and uh, they're trying to get an interview with Pereira. And I happen to just, boom. Oh, hi, Dr. Koza. How are you doing? Mm. Hi. Well, I'm Tata from YFM. We've got a show called Current Affairs. Um, it's an hour. Would you like to please come through and detail the whole plan mm. of the IOC and the local organizing committee here in South Africa, what we're going to do, Pereira and everything? <clears throat> Current Affairs starts at seven. Yeah. I think it was half past five. He said, yeah, sure. Yeah. I called much over. I'm like, much over. Um, Dr. Kuzo says he's going to come. What about, yeah, hey, wing. And at that day, we didn't even have a guest, was yeah. the ball. And I'm like, yeah, it's Tata and her dreams. I'm like, Lynn, I'm telling you, bruh, I'm telling you, bruh. We drive back to YFM, I'm like, yo, this guy's not going to come. But we still make extra plans. We've got sound clubs. Back up, yeah. Back up sound clubs of something else different mm. to do for current affairs. Zama's about to go on air. You know Zama, she's about to like punch me in the face. Like, girl, you said someone's coming. <laughs> 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 and honestly, God, there's Ndata Koza standing there at the doors of YFM. Remember the roof yeah, yeah. The glass doors there. Yeah, I'm, like, keep, keep. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, at Amma Kim Kim, Dr. Koza at Amma Kim Kim, you know? And he literally pulled through. Wow. And that was honestly one of our best current affairs episodes. Uh, one of our other best current affairs episodes was with uh, Tabo Mbeki. Mm. I remember that one. Yeah. Um, Patricia DeLol, funny enough, one yeah. of our best. And G Mutecha was also one of the good ones. Damn, current affairs was good, man. And what you scared of him? Because you know Msunzi. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> What do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know who he is. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Uh, Ryan Kicks? Oh, Ryan Giggs used my headphones that I still use today to listen to music. Oh, it's daily. Sis, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, ooh, you, you actually, I need to go clean up my earphones. <laughs> Dude, that's Ryan Giggs is a legend. I'd sell them, bruh. <laughs> um, Ryan Giggs. Um, oh, I think I never got to meet Ryan Giggs when he came to Supersport to be an analyst for us. Mm. And everybody asked it. I was like, mm, I didn't remember where I was. And then uh, I then did that UEFA Champions League uh, match or that little crossing from Durban. Mm-hmm. It was at Ismaya Lounge or something. And then it was the Manchester United game. Mm. Um, yeah, Ryan Giggs was cool. I got to chat to him backstage just before we went on air. That's like five minutes. So not much of a conversation. Um, and then we then... Listen to her, she's talking about Ryan Giggs like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know he's high. He's cool, man. <laughs> But must I lie? What do you want me to say? He was angelic. 
I saw the class of nanny nan come through. I was like, Ryan, please come take over the reins at Manchester. You know, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, and then we went on air. We chatted about the game, and then afterwards we chatted again. It, it literally was. It, it was nice. It was a very nice experience. He's a cool guy. Yeah. He's a cool guy. Did you want to ask him why? He's did a chill guy. No. <laughs> Uh, I'd be itching to ask that. <laughs> but Ryan Giggs was cool. Yeah. Um, the one person who I spent a little more time with was Phil Neville. And Gary. That was, that was I never got to meet Gary oh, Neville. Okay. Um, but Phil <laughs> was really cool. And uh, was it Danny? Uh, yeah, but it was nice. Full Neville, I got to work with a couple of games during the World Cup. Right but then sure, we, yeah. yeah, we got to actually sit and talk mm. and ask questions wow. about your family. And the guy's asking me about my daughter. <gasps> and then the next day he's asking, oh, how's Tando doing? Oh, wow. You see, Phil Neville knows Tando. Hey, yeah, 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 <laughs> hey yeah, my yeah. Tando's famous, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> see, those are the ones that, because you get to, you must imagine this, MacGyver. I probably get to meet quite a lot of people. And that's what I'm saying. I need to start recording what I do. Yeah. Ten years on TNL, there's like a good six guests every single episode. At some point in time, we did 300 episodes, but we surpassed 300. But there's different guests every week, and we've had a variety of guests. There are people that you'll remember. They might be someone who's so insignificant to you, but that I remember because... Of maybe what they said or the, the common touch. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So sometimes you actually really do forget. Did you meet people? <laughs> uh, I know you're not going to forget this nigga, uh, Jay Z. <laughs> no, but I already mentioned that one. <laughs> <laughs> o2 Arena, London Baby, Basketball, High Knees. You know what I'm talking about? Is your girl T. Oh, man. <laughs> And, you know, I literally it was a basketball court and then I'd met him in the afternoon in a crowd again. It helps to be short. Mm. In a crowd again, walking to the O2 Arena. We'd come there for some basketball showpiece, Africa, whatnot, invited by ESPN. Yeah. And then we went there. Oh, Tato Sekhaole, who else went through? Yo, a lot of caddy mm. went through as well. And then we got to meet him as we're getting into the O2 arena. Wow. And then somebody happened to take a picture of me. Shit. And that's how come I had proof when you guys said I was lying. Yeah, yeah. And then afterwards in the evening, I asked him, can I please have an interview with you? And he just told me, yeah, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm like, when are you think with him playing games? You think with him, Mina? I come all the way on my first flight from South Africa to London and I'm not going to work. You want my job to get back there and say, what did you do? Why, where's the evidence that you work? No, on trailer, I'm It's a basketball court. We were sitting on the other side. They were sitting on the other side, court side. And I see this guy. It's not full yet because obviously we got there earlier. Mm. And I'm like, what's stopping me to go there? He said, I must come back later. <laughs> they started laughing at me. Tata, where are you going? I'm like, nah, I just want to see something. Let me just go. I walk, I walk, I walk. When I get there, there's no barrier. It says media barrier, media barrier. But I'm from South Africa. How long do you block a Like, more. <laughs> <laughs> so and like and like you say I can walk here walks in Gangena. I see them they sit in he was sitting with some other actor, I forgot his name. He looked like that guy from This Is Us. But anyway, like a Samuel L. Jackson type of black guy yeah. with anyway, he was famous too. I didn't care. I went and I walked across and I was like, Hi, sir, Mr. Jay Z, you said I could come back. He says, Yeah, 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 just sit down. And I literally got to sit down next to him. Like wow. this. And I was like, I'm looking over at my friends over. I'm like, <laughs> wow. I can't believe, I can't believe my shit. I'm like, yes, my shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And literally we then got to sit. We had a chat. When you're opening up for Africa, and I all of a sudden have an American accent. And basketball coming in Africa. <laughs> Those are the kind of questions I asked because I was just so, I was so flabbergasted. Yeah. But I actually got to interview him, came back with the audio, and I was like, go! Shit, man. You and know? And then wait, hold up, hold up, not forgetting that I got to drink Heineken with Jay Z. Wow. Yeah, Life man. goes. Who, am I, who do we drink Heineken with? <laughs> 
Mac G, Bolland, Bo Jay Z. Yeah, no, but that was also. I think it just it was nice doing something like that because then you realize that if you actually want to go get something, I I literally didn't care that he was Jay Z. Mm. No, I did, but I didn't care. Mm. At I was, that moment, no, I was just thinking of much of. <laughs> But you was scared us so much. I was just like, you, 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 you. So I can't come back to SA and tell the story that I saw Jay Z. Yeah. Where's my proof? Where's my audio? Yeah, yeah. Like, so, so thanks, my job. Yeah, because where's my audio? Yeah. Like, what can I win? You're going to get there and get like all starstruck. Yeah. No, my job never played those games of getting starstruck. So who would you see? Who do you think you'd see now? Because you've seen almost everybody. I'm not even going to go through the list. Who would you want to see now that like literally make you shake in your boots? I don't know. Nah. No, no, no. Like I'm saying, it has to be someone who emotionally and mm. human wise connects with me. Because I've met so many different people, you get to know that some of the guys you look up to are the shittiest yeah, people in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. You know? So now I don't have that thing of actually, yes, there are amazing people I'd like to interview, get to know, meet. But I literally take anybody that I interview by face value and you actually really get something from that person. So, yo, bruh. Dude, how the fuck do you stay so humble, bruh? So grounded. I walked. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I, I always tell everyone about my Trevor story. I would be telling that JC story every interview. Were you serious? Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but does it put more... No, 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 it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't. It, 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 it literally, yeah. I've been around for so long, yeah, MacGyver. True, true, true. It actually is nice to be under the radar mm. and people just, oh, little mouse, whatever, I'm working, okay? Because you literally go there, do your work and you fuck off. Yeah, that's okay, no, that's actually a lie. Okay. I go there, work, and then go party a little bit. <laughs> 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 it's work hard, play hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, man, I mean, after so many years... Am I really just going to mess it up for... Nah, bro. Mm. Work Fuck. and go. Fuck, Tata, dude. I love you so much, man. What I love about you is you haven't changed. Still, the f- from the first day I met you, yeah. still haven't changed. Jay-Z or no Jay-Z. Yeah, Jay-Z or no Jay-Z. Heck, I'm a million. Maybe I'm going to change. No, not oh. anymore. I, like, decided a while back ago, like, TV already adds, like, 10K like, to you. Like, literally. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, my God, move away from the beer because um, Kaba Functions was not happening. Yeah. Like, not. Yeah. And then, you know, I work on TV. Have you had any challenges in your career? Of course I have. It's like oh. marriage. Nah, of course. Dude. Of your course career you have. been like this, dude, seamless. Yeah, but obviously, even though it seems that way from the outside... Inside, you have to polish up a lot of things. There's a lot of demons you got to fight. Mm. There's a lot of people going wayward. And I'm like, please, like, really? like go try somewhere else, okay? <laughs> Don't come play here. So there obviously have been challenges, you know. But it's also, like I say, if I sweat the small stuff, where would I be? You know, the challenges come. But you decide on the radar, this is a challenge, this slow, this slow. Ah, never mind. I hate this fucking question, but I'm going to ask you because I want to see what you're going to respond. So how do you see? (laughs) 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 That question's not there. No, no. Um, What do you want to tell a young girl watching this who looks up to you? What advice do you want to give them? Work. Yes. Sabenza kill. Like really work. Sabenza kill. Thanks. No, I just wanted to see how you'd answer that. No, just work. <laughs> Whether you work at McDonald's, Checkers, yeah. SABC, Super Sport, uh, Podcast with McG, yeah. work, Baba. What's yeah. your problem? Yeah. You want to sit at home and, and what? Watch other people work. Yeah. But work. Ah, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Tato, thank you so much, man. So, what are your future endeavors? What are you working on? Um, I am working on a new show. Oh, that nice. is really, really cool. I like on Super it. Sport, isn't it. Yeah, on oh, Super nice. Sports. Nice. Um, so uh, they didn't yeah. send you an SMS. Um, so it's this nice new show <laughs> on Super Sports. <laughs> hey, that ain't gonna funny. Kill me after yeah, this. no, that ain't funny. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> I did not agree to this. This is a disclaimer. <laughs> I did not know that he was even coming to my house. <laughs> like, um, yeah. But there's a new show that I'm working on. Um, it's going to come out soon. It's really cool. It's something uh, in line with football, of course. But it's something that I really love and I'm passionate with. Uh, I like passion projects. Mm. I like passion projects, getting to know people's backstories because it is true. Most people, most black people, which I never understand sometimes on social media, mm. you know, we act all big shindig. Oh, I never do that. Oh, I, oh, how could you speak like that? Oh. Like your family is, most of your family is probably like that. There's someone in your family like mm. that. So I love passionate stories about ordinary South Africans trying to make it in life. It's really nice to see those stories. Maybe those are the stories the young girls should watch. Mm. Yeah. Do you get mm. any trolls on, on social media? Yeah, of course. No, that's <laughs> nah. I blocked him. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing I've learned. Like, that's the best thing I've learned. Yeah. Say anything that I don't like. Yeah. Like, I'm not about that life. I'm, why must I sit on my social media and read bad things about me? Yeah. No, it's my social media, just like my phone. Yeah. If you're going to call me on my phone and you're going to talk nonsense, I'm going to drop the phone. Yeah. If you're going to talk nonsense and tag me, just don't tag me. It's okay. But if you're going to tag me, I'm going to block you, block you, block you, block you. Uh, baby number two? Is it on the way? Not now. I'm drinking gin. <laughs> so, the poor baby. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we'll see. Tanda's getting really lonely, Shay, my poor child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she literally walks out the kitchen door. She's got an imaginary friend. Ah, it's time to work. You know? And then she keeps on, now she wants to speak of her cons, like the neighbors, you Mm. know, Chloe and Phoebe. Why doesn't she speak of her cons? Where's her brothers? And she imagines these people. So yeah, I need to get her. I need to, I need to get her a sibling. But I just need to find a surrogate because yeah. that's like the coolest thing to do now. Yeah. And I'm cool now, right? Yeah, no. I, like I've cool. made it to podcast with McG. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that the level? That, is that the yeah. level? <laughs> like, I've made it here. <laughs> so I'm like literally going to rock up to the shops with my sunglasses. Yeah. I don't talk to people. Yeah. Like I, I, I was telling Linda, I didn't want to do this interview because I already know you. I'm like, what am I going to ask her? Like I already know Tato, but I've learned so much actually. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. I just <laughs> Hey, we had it, yeah. And I hope you got that love. I love your love. <laughs> I know I did a good job if I hear that love. <laughs> Push up. <coughs> Push up. <coughs> I'm choking you so bad. I'm dying. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, we out of here, man. Uh, do you wanna... Thank you. That was actually really cool. Yeah, I enjoyed that, man. That was really, really I cool. I for another hour, dude. Yeah, but then that's unfair to everybody else. Yeah. Social media, where you at? How many followers you got now? I, I don't have followers. Ah, so I please, no, seriously. So please do follow me. I'm really trying this Instagram thing out. Yeah. Um, I'm already posting live videos. Okay. Like, Instagram I'm live. practicing, like, this is me, like, half the time in my car. Because <laughs> 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 you got to have the pose, yo. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Don't I need music to be, like... <laughs> Some AKA, some drink. Yeah. <laughs> Mistakenly just flip over the camera, show the badge of my cop, bring it back like on some yeet. <laughs> yeah, Ridiculous, yeah. I swear. Yeah. Anyway, um, Instagram and on Twitter at Tato Moyeng. That's, That's simple. I don't think I'm following, I'm following on Instagram. Ne? It's okay. I don't need you to follow me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> who needs MacGyver to follow them? <laughs> Oh, no, man. my guy. Oh, and actually, there was a p- picture. It was a throwback to the day. Yeah. Did you see it? We do looking dry. Me. <laughs> <laughs> There's the laugh. I got it. <laughs> I am the other man. Peace. <laughs> oh, God, that was funny. <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.